Hello and welcome to the show with our weekly news roundup. Don't forget you can catch up on all the previous shows and interviews on our channel, where last week we learned about a new firmware update for JVC's connected cams, experienced the control center experience with Gunterman and Drunk, we had some more valuable leasing and finance advice from Media Lease and learned about the VC6 codec from Vnova. And in discovering all that, we also uncovered the secrets and pastimes within our industry, ranging from a passion for gardening to a paranoia of ladybirds, a real cross section. So in the UK, we, like many other countries, are now in a second lockdown. And rest assured, we continue, as we have since April, to operate remotely of each other in this virtual space. And given that our guests keep coming forwards, then we hope for an uninterrupted show going forwards ourselves. Absolutely. And first in the news this week is Miller Camera Support, who have released Solo Q Tripod. With the new look Q lock that improves speed and efficiency, compatible with industry standard 75 and 100 millimeter ball leveling pan and tilt heads. The yeah, ideal for on location work because of its flexibility and portability, including a safety lock for quick and easy setting of the tripod. Each leg also has height markings for consistency of setup. Panasonic has introduced a new large aperture medium telephoto fixed focal length lens, the Lumix S85 mm f1.8. Based on the L mount system for Lumix S series full frame mirrorless cameras, the 85 mm is the first out of four f1.8 large aperture lenses Panasonic have announced that it will be releasing. Cool. And in addition, Panasonic has announced a host of extensive firmware updates for its S series of cameras, which will be available to download from the 24th of November 2020. This includes the planned update to unlock 5.9K 4K anamorphic 4x3, 3.5K 12-bit raw video data output over HDMI for the new Lumix S5. I can tell you're excited about that one. <laughs> Tokina expanded its range of super fast aperture cinema prime lenses with the introduction of the new Cinema Vista 40mm T1.5. The much requested 40mm focal length is considered by many to be the perfect normal lens to portray a natural field of view on a large format cinema camera. Keep an eye out for our video chat with Dan Chung on the new lens. And Woody Technologies, the leader in software solutions for ingest and media processing, announces a partnership with Rascular Technology. They create powerful, customizable control and monitoring applications for third-party professional, professional video technologies. Woody Ingest Live is now integrated with Rascular's Rootmaster, enabling router control capabilities for all Woody Ingest Live customers. Game Creek Video, a leading provider of advanced mobile television production facilities, has launched four new mobile units in the last year, all relying on Riedel Communications' ultra-dense IP gateway solutions for inter-truck connectivity. Riedel's MediaNet Fusion standalone IP converters drive full SMPT ST2110 based signal processing in the five mobile production system. And do they never stop? Marshall Electronics has released two new NDI 4K PTZ camera models, the CV730 NDI and the CV630 NDI. Yeah, the CV730 NDI features 4K60 over simultaneous 12G SDI, HDMI 2.0 and NDI HX with up to 3840x2160p UHD resolution at 60 frames per second. The CV630 NDI features up to 3840 by 2160 UHD resolution at 30 frames per second with 3G SDI, HDMI and NDI HX. Fuse Technical Group have turned to 13 disguised GX2C media servers with designer software and sock puppet control features to help deliver a home game feel for teams and fans at home as the NBA resumes its season. Yeah, as we know, the NBA has set up a bubble isolation zone at Walt Disney World near Orlando uh, to enable professional basketball to resume in the US while keeping players safe. Spectators aren't allowed in the stands, but fans have been able to once again enjoy their basketball on television. InSync Technology and 4A have announced the latest in its range of motion compensated UHD frame rate converters, the MCC 4K-A, developed by InSync Technology and exclusively distributed by 4A. The MCC 4K-A is a highly advanced motion compensated frame rate converter that also provides essential workflow tools such as HDR, SDR management, closed caption handling and multi-channel audio. 
And now for a quick break in the news, while we tell you a little bit about Media Proxy, who support us here at Kit Plus TV. Yes, as you may already know, Media Proxy is the global leader for all things compliance with over 20 years in the business and over 15,000 channels deployed in over 60 countries. They're the trusted partner in the industry for logging, monitoring and analysis of linear broadcast and OTT. What you may not know, but you probably do by now, is that their interactive Monwall multi-viewer allows for monitoring hundreds and thousands of live streams using a unique exception-based approach via dynamic layouts, mixing compressed and uncompressed streams, as well as transport stream analysis, all via one interactive interface. Opens up, a, opens up new workflows, especially for remote, remote workflows. And we say every time if you're looking to replace your Volicon system, then team up with the global leader in compliance. You can check out more information on their website, mediaproxy.com, and look out for the interview we've recently done with Raj for Media Proxy, who talks all about their Volicon solutions. So on with the news. Spectralogic have rolled out significant enhancements to StoreCycle, its storage lifecycle management software solution. StoreCycle adds new enhancements to ensure that an organization's data is identified, migrated, accessed, and protected on the right tier at the right time throughout its lifespan. While most of the UK has been in lockdown, award-winning game developer Sumo Digital has been expanding its audio facilities by building three 5.1 surround sound edit suites, a Dolby Atmos mix room, and a Foley ADR space at its premises in Sheffield. All of the new audio facilities are equipped with PMC monitoring which has been chosen because it offers the clarity and precision Sumo Digital's audio designers and engineers need to source, edit and create sound effects and conduct their mixes. Leading news and television broadcaster Newsmax TV has selected a comprehensive media asset management and video recording playout infrastructure based on PrimeStream's award-winning Exchange and Media.io software solutions. Linking Newsmax facilities in New York City and Boca Raton in Florida, PrimeStream solutions bring powerful new efficiencies to Newsmax's local and remote video operations. DPA Microphones recently upgraded its renowned 4098 Goosenet microphone to include its core by DPA technology. With this update, the 4098 core mic will join DPA's other core products in offering minimal distortion across the entire dynamic range, which will increase audio clarity and openness. Vinova has announced a milestone achievement in MPEG 5 Part 2. Low Complexity Enhancement Video Coding, otherwise known as LCEVC, being promoted to MPEG ISO Final Draft International Standard. Vinova co-chaired the standard's development and contributed to the foundational technology upon which it is built. Yeah, watch out for a chat with Matt from Vinova uh, about their VC6. It's on the channel now. The AI-based transcription, captioning, and translation platform for video professionals, aptly named Simon Says, is now seamlessly integrated with Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve for Mac OS. Users can now easily find meaningful dialogue in any language and receive the frame-accurate video transcript as ranged markers, color-coded by speaker, then captioned timelines, and even align translated subtitles once the edit is complete, all with a few clicks from within DaVinci Resolve. UEFA has selected TVU Networks to deliver their remote video solution for the first ever remotely produced 2020 UEFA Champions League and Europa League Final 8 draw, as well as the 2020-21 Champions League group stage draw and award ceremony. Whilst promotional stocks are available, IDX have an offer for you of a VL2000S simultaneous two-channel lithium-ion V-mount battery charger free of charge when you purchase four of their quite cool transparent IPL98T or IPL150T batteries. We actually use this charger for jobs when we're allowed out of this virtual studio and it allows you to stack four IPL batteries on each channel. And the really handy thing is it charges from the top down, meaning that fully charged batteries are always at the top of the stack, ready for you to grab them when you need them. Great, well that's all for the show today, but please keep an eye out for our daily interviews, which are added to YouTube, Facebook, IGTV, Vimeo, and LinkedIn. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and don't forget that fresh air and exercise. See you next time.